Hey there, this is Akshit Madan. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, I'm going to provide you the best Flutter project structure. But I've already created one video on the same topic that is Flutter best project structure in the past. But now after working in the industry, after working on more projects, I've realized that that video is not up to the mark. That means I have not provided each and everything. I have not explained you each and every folder in that video. So now after gaining some more experience, I think that this video is must. And this video, uh, I'm, I'll try my best to cover all the things like how you should divide your folders, uh, like what industry expects you to do when you are creating a project for the industry, for your internship, for your job, right? So first thing, let me just increase the font size so that you can see the complete folders. So now first thing is assets folder. So inside it, assets folder are always on the top thing, like in the root. So you can see that assets folder uh, is not inside the lib, right? Assets folder are outside. And in the inside the assets folder, I'm going to divide this assets folder into three subfolders that is fonts, icons, and images. Right. And in this icons also, all these icons should be named as like this IC, then the icon name. So icon name dot JPG or uh, like PNG, uh, anything. Right. So this should be the format IC underscore and all that. So this this, this will uh, like uh, make it independent from the images. This is going to uh, all these icons will be separated from the images. Right. And now after this, you can uh, like uh, import all these icons, fonts and images in your pubspec.ml. But th this assets folder should be divided like this, fonts, icons and images, right? Then after this, I'm, I'm having this lib, so obviously. And you can see that many people I have seen that, that's also good, but many people have seen that they, inside the lib folder, they divide the lib folder into features. Like they will have feature one, feature two, feature three, feature four. But let's say you're, you are building a big app and your features, are like infinite, you are having like 50 features, then it will not be good, right? How will you like divide the slip folder into 50 subfolders? No, it should not be like that. So that's why these are the five to six folders, which I keep and inside those inside these six to five or five to six folders, I divide them according to the features. So let me just show you. So first folder is auth. So inside this auth folder, I'm going to have two files, login sign up dot dot and onboarding dot dot. And according to your app design and everything, you can make create more files, right? But as you can see, it is not having any backend code. It is not having any functions. For that, I'm having the services folder and I'm going to show you that, right? So this auth is nothing but the UI stuff. Login, calling the functions, right? But not the functions, right? So you can write all the UI stuff, uh, login page, sign up page, onboarding screens, welcome screen, splash, and all that you can keep it inside the auth. That means starting of your application is inside the auth folder. Perfect. Now, after that, I'm having this pages. So what's inside this pages? I'm having two things, tabs. So basically around like 50, 60% of the applications are having this bottom navigation bar, right? At the bottom, you are having some tabs. You can check the Instagram or LinkedIn or any other social media app, you're having tabs. So that's why I basically divide this pages into tabs. So in this tabs folder, you can have tab one, tab two, tab three, tab four, tab five, dot dot files. Perfect. And basically in this pages, I have this main file, home dot dot. So this home dot dot is basically called from the main dot dot uh, in the my app, right? When you create a my app, you have to define home. So this home is nothing but this home dot dot, which I keep inside my pages only, right? Now inside this pages, I'm having these tabs and I'm having this others folder. So inside this others folder, you can keep more pages. Let's see your notification screen, your settings screen or anything else. So all the UI for the pages for the tabs will be inside this pages folder. And you can obviously you can divide this pages folder into feature one, feature two, feature three, according to your choice. If you are having so many screens and you want to divide your features, uh, you want to divide your screens according to the features, then you can define one more folder called features and then you can have separate features. Perfect. So this is about pages. Now after that, I'm having services. So this is a very important folder because inside it, I'm having four subfolders. First one is the functions. So inside this functions, you can have two main files that is auth functions auth functions dot dot. Now, if you're working with Firebase or anything or any other AWS authentication, then all those authentication functions, phone authentication, you can write in this file auth functions dot dot. And you can have one more file or you can have one more folder sub functions or other functions called, you can call it as it is. And you can call it functions dot dot. Or you can, instead of creating a file, you can create subfolders also according to the features like feature one, feature two, feature three functions, right? And inside those feature functions, you can have separate dart files. Right. But basically I always require this and I write all my functions over here. Let's say you're creating a, like, let's say you're creating a to do app. 
So for to do app, what are the functions? CRUD functions, create, retrieve, update, and delete. So all those four functions you can write over here. Or saving user data. It's a function, you, ha you have to save your user data in cloud Firestore uh, collection, then you can write that function over here. But all the authentication functions should be separate and they sh uh, the those functions I keep it in this file, right? This so this is about functions. Now what about models? Let's say you're working on uh, fetching the data from an API, you're working with Dart models. So all these models, JSON models, everything should be key, uh, should be kept in this models, right? And some people have seen also create one more folder in this services called backend. And they can, uh, like if they are integrating any SDK, if they are working with APIs, so all that backend stuff, calling the APIs, they can keep in that backend folder. But to keep it simple and precise, I'm not going to uh, create that backend folder, right, for now. And after that, I'm having providers. So I basically work with provider state management or instead of providers, you can have getx, you can have a block folder and all that state management stuff you can keep inside this providers folder. Perfect. So what is this settings folder? Let's your theme changing settings. Let's say your uh, shared preferences. So all those settings or let's say your account settings, all those settings can be kept in this settings folder, right? So this how you can see how uh, like well structured it is. So I basically like the root structure. So in the roots, you can see what were which all folders are at the roots auth pages services utils widgets and main so all these are the root and after that i'm creating sub uh, branches and all that right i don't like that feature one feature two uh, as you are opening lib and you are seeing all the feature folders i really don't like that right i like this kind of project structure where you have roots and then you have branches perfect so we saw the services folder and now you are having utils folder so what what's i'm having in the utilities i'm having colors dot dart so over here you can write all the colors which you are going to use in your uh, dark mode, white, light mode, anything. You can use all the colors over here. Cre create a class and inside that define the static color so that you can call all these colors from any other class, right? So this is about colors. Constants, let's say your height of the mobile screen, width of the mobile screen. Then let's say you have some constants, right? Uh, some strings or any other, some values, all those you, things you can keep in this constants folder. Images, so which all images you have defined in the icons folder and the images folder, you can define them in the images folder, in the images file, so that you don't need to write that string like asset slash images slash uh, so, so and so image from any other file, right? You just need to define all the strings over here for the assets files, and then you just need to call them using static thing, static keyword, or you can call it directly from the variable. Perfect. So this is about images. Styles, let's say you are creating some button styles which you want to keep constant in all your application, complete throughout the application. So that's why I defined, I always define this styles dot dot so that you can keep all the styles. Let's say app bar style, then some card styles, then container styles, button styles, any, any style you can keep in this styles dot dot. Right, perfect. So this is about utilities. Then I'm having widgets. So inside this widgets also I have defined, I have divided this widgets folder into two subfolders, features and global. So this global is going to contain all the global widgets. Let's say you're defining a card and that card is using, that card is being used at a lot of places. So that card is a global card, right? So that thing you can keep in global. And now there are some widgets uh, which are feature based. Let's say, let's say an Instagram application and some widgets are being used in the home page. Some are used in the uh, search page, some are used in the real space, some are used in the profile page. So all these features, these are the sub features, you can define se separate folders of these features inside this features folder. And for all the sub features, you can define the widgets. Perfect. So this is regarding widgets and then I'm having main dot dot. Perfect. So this is the best uh, project structure, which I found till now after working at some industry project, after working for freelancing projects, after seeing so many templates from Envanto market or from any other uh, template market from where I purchase. So from after working with them, I have found that this project structure should be the best for beginner, for intermediate, for an expert. It's totally up to you, right? So the best part is that I'm not I'm not just showing you this project structure, I'm also going to provide you. So you can find the link in the description. Uh, it's a GitHub repository where this project structure is uploaded and you can clone it and you can use it in any of your project, right? So till the next content, keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.